Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to talk about um, using the SAP Code Inspector to analyze all custom code on the system and to understand what, what issues are we going to have when we move to HANA. Um, the ABAP on HANA compatibility check has been made available by SAP for, for multiple years now. And it allows us, again, to, before we ever migrate to HANA, to scan all of the custom objects in our system uh, to understand, are there going to be any objects that, um, uh, that are not compatible with ABAP on HANA? And you start by using the transaction SCI for SAP Code Inspector. And then the, the first thing you do is you have to create a, an object set. So we're going to call it uh, CUS objects underscore demo. So an object set is a set of objects that uh, you want to scan, right? So you, you type in a name and you hit create. And here you can free select objects. And we want to do a Z scan to say, hey, scan all Z objects um, included, right? So everything that begins with a Z, we're going to scan here. So we've put Zs all the way down. Now there's some exceptions to this, smart form, SAP script, are generated SAP code and you need to treat them a little bit differently. Um, but just to get a blanket go at understanding what Z code do you have that would potentially have in, 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 in incompatibility with, with HANA as a database, we create an object set called uh, Z star and across the board. Uh, we, hit, we hit back. So that's an object set. Now the check variant that, that SAP created is called functional underscore DB. You do not need to create this. If this doesn't exist, that means an SAP note has not been installed correctly, and we'll post that note in the, uh, in the video description on YouTube. Um, functional underscore DB should already be there as what's called a check variant. And inside of here, if you explore it, it's looking for ABOP statements that are calling, you know, uh, calling a function related to a database. Uh, it's doing a search for select open cursor statements without an order by. It's looking for use of the uh, database interface, right? Is somebody doing a, a SQL package or a T-SQL package or a PL-SQL statement that would only run on Oracle or SQL Server and won't run on HANA? Um, all of these checks are provided, again, by SAP. So we need to run an analysis over functional DB, functional DB addition. There are two different templates. And they're meant to do two different things. Functional underscore DB is really going to help you find what will not run on HANA. The, 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 the template functional underscore DB underscore addition is going to help you understand the ABAP on HANA objects that won't run effectively or efficiently on HANA. So you sort of have your must, must fixes and then, you, you know, the should fixes, right? The objects you should fix and the objects you have to fix. So to recap, we've created a object set. Uh, if I hit display now, that is all Z objects, right? I want to pick up all the Z. If you had Y objects, you need to create another one for Y star. Let's create an inspection. So, you know, uh, let's call it ABAP on HANA 3. As you can see here, I've created multiple inspections. Uh, ABAP on HANA 3, we're going to hit the create button. You're going to first tell it the object set. Uh, so let's go ahead and use the you know, CUS objects demo that I created. You, you know, as you can see, I've got multiple object sets out here, like if you created one called Y objects or smart forms, et cetera, you could do so. Now, the check variant we want to use is functional underscore DB. Now, there's two buttons here. Now, the second button is execute in background, which is what you want to do. For the sake of the demo, though, I'm going to go ahead and execute it interactively just so we see how it works. Um, you will use this uh, utility SCI uh, went up to submit the background job, and you'll come back here and you'll look at, at uh, prior analysis. So I'm going to hit the next. And you can see here, this is a nimble lab environment. There's not a lot of Z objects, so it's going to go very fast. You know, for an organization that has six, eight hundred, thousand, two thousand custom objects, you know, we want to run this in background and let it let it process effectively. And again, you're going to go ahead and run an ABAP on HANA inspection for functional DB and functional underscore DB underscore addition. Uh, as two separate executions. Uh, and again, we're using an object set called CUS underscore demo. Now, you need to take uh, into account smart forms and SAP scripts because those are generated ABAP code. So we're going to use the transaction SC16 and the PADR. And in terms of the object type, we have SSSFO, 
is the type. If I hit execute, the all of the smart forms in our system. Now again, the Nimble environment doesn't have any uh, custom developed smart forms. Your organization will. You can see here the person responsible is SAP. You're gonna have a smart form in your environment that doesn't say this. It'll have smart forms created by your team. You need to you know, copy those object names and create an object set specific to your smart forms. Again, the type SSFO and uh, the type form. Because again, if you remember back here when we created our object set, we did Z star. Um, smart forms and SAP scripts are not in the Z namespace. It's generated out of code. Again, uh, form. you can see here we have a bunch of forms uh, created by SAP. Uh, so again, I don't have any forms not created by SAP because this is a lab system here at Nimble. But you're going to want to create an object set specific to smart forms and SAP scripts and do a scan of those objects in addition to the Z scan that we've done here. So we've already 532 of, of 629 programs. Uh, I'll pause now and we'll wait for the analysis to complete, which should be in a minute or two. Okay. Now, immediately, because I ran it interactively, it says the inspection was carried out successfully. If I had submitted this in background and I wanted to look at it later, you can see here I have an ABAP and HANA 3 version 01. If I had multiple inspections, a 2, a 3, or 4, I could do that. There's a results button now that this is executed. If I click on the results button, I can um, expand. Let's see if I can do an expand all. Right, so there are some errors here. I have the object, the Web Dim Pro object, Z Adobe, you know, um, Crema 03. This has errors where uh, the program didn't exist. So number one, that's a syntax issue. That's not necessarily a. Uh, uh, that's just the existence of the program. So that was that's not an example. Uh, down here, robust programming checks. Uh, search for so I do have seven open cursors. Um, without an order by statement. And so, uh, you know, delete adjacent is, is, is here. Um, if I want to, I can uh, do statistics button and see how many objects were scanned just for sanity uh, purposes. Uh, I can then also click on a tab or a results view and I can see that these objects here uh, are having issues. So it's in the ZVBS package. Um, this is a third-party product, actually, that's having some issues here. And so uh, in that case, I would reach out to the third party. But right here, you can see here I have a, a Z object and a Z namespace with a, uh, a problematic statement. Uh, so from here, what I would want to do is I want to go ahead and export this uh, to a spreadsheet and save those results for further analysis. Again, uh, what I would do next after doing that analysis and seeing that, hey, I have seven objects that are in error, 18 in warning, um, you know, in the tabular analysis, um, we get to see the object name and uh, we get more information about that. So, uh, wonderful tool to be able to do that. Uh, the next inspection that I would do is I can hit the inspection button. Uh, I can run over those same objects, right, all the Z objects. This time I'm going to select... Uh, functional underscore db underscore addition. And here you see again version 2 of the inspection. So I have a version 1, a version 2. I'm going to hit the execute button. Uh, so here again, it's doing the analysis. We'll pause briefly until the analysis completes. All right, everybody. We now have the same inspection completed out. Uh, again, I showed you how uh, we have a version 2 here. That's fantastic. And we click on results. And uh, we see performance checks, uh, where clauses, where with updates and selects. We have some issues here. And again, errors are going to be late related to, um, you know, we don't have to fix these, but it would be good to. So here again, you see a Z object here, and it's got a lot, there's a large table, and there's no where condition. So this is something that, again, will run on HANA. It just won't run very effectively, and we want to accommodate for remediations. Uh, so here again, uh, what I would do is export this to a spreadsheet, and I would name the spreadsheet functional underscore db underscore addition and have all the objects here so that we're able to do some analysis and really understand what objects are impacted by the uh, migration to Sweden on HANA or S4 HANA 
and what is the remediation effort going to be. So in summary, we talked about creating an object set in uh, SAP Code Inspector and, and defining Z objects. Uh, you'll want to create an object set for your smart forms, an object set for your SAP scripts, an object set for your enhancement points. And you find those objects by using SC16 over the TADR directory. Um, but you, you create an object set. You then have a check variant. We run, uh, first we run a, a check using functional DB. Then we run, uh, we export that to Excel. Then we run another check over using functional DB addition. And we export that to Excel. So really this work, uh, it, it can take a couple hours based on runtime, but it's a very easy task. And it allows uh, us to figure out, you know, the ABAP effort for remediation. I hope you found this video informative. Uh, please see the links below for the SAP notes needed to update and keep these check variants uh, to install the latest version of these variants. If you have any questions, please reach out to jack at bnimble.com. Thank you.